Hi guys, this is Con and welcome to KSX Tech. So I have received a lot of messages and feedback with the video that I make with the Red Dragon Ares and I have decided to make a follow-up troubleshooting guide. So here it is. To configure or key map the buttons on your keyboard, you have to connect your Red Dragon Ares to your PC or Mac. Now once connected, open up a web browser. On the search bar, type in Red Dragon and click on their official website. Now once you have clicked on their link, go to downloads and then accessories and click on the Red Dragon. Now you will see their user guide and a software download. Now if you click the user guide, you'll see the steps on how to connect and troubleshoot. And please take note the default key mapping of your keyboard buttons. Please make sure to memorize these or take note of it since uh, you will be using those key binds. Now if you want to make your own keyboard mapping or if you want to configure your keyboard to suit your needs, go to accessories and then download the appropriate driver and software. In this case, I have already downloaded the software. Click on it and then you will see mode. So just select the appropriate mode if you are using PS4, Xbox or switch so in this case let's just try ps3 so in the advanced button you'll see the different keyboard mapping now if you want to save your settings all you have to do is first set the keyboard mapping, configure it, and once you're done, click on the save icon. There you can see it's already been saved. And then you're good to go. Now for the tutorial, please make sure you have the following items, a controller, high quality cables, USB cables, and the USB Type-C connector that came with the Red Dragon Ares. Also take note that there are compatibility issues, so make sure that your keyboard and mouse are compatible with your Red Dragon Ares. Now step 1, connect the USB Type-C connector to your Red Dragon Ares and then connect it to your PS4 or any other console that you are using. Now, you have to connect your DualShock 4 controller to your Red Dragon Ares. Now, make sure that you have not used or turned on your DualShock controller. And then, once you have connected it, connect it to the Red Dragon Ares. You'll know that the DualShock controller is now functioning if it turns amber the color of the DualShock co controller turns amber now connect all your devices with this I'm using a wireless keyboard and mouse combo from Logitech connect your keyboard and mouse to your Red Dragon Ares
Once the keyboard and mouse are connected, go to your keyboard and press and hold the escape button for a few seconds until a message will pop out of the screen. Now if you connected your DualShock controller and it still functions, you have to disconnect your device. So just go to your settings menu in your PS4. Go to devices, Bluetooth, the and then disconnect Press your that. DualShock controller. And disconnect. Now for some troubleshooting guide, if you have accidentally used your DualShock controller while it is still connected with your Red Dragon Aries, and then your keyboard does not function anymore, all you have to do is disconnect your controller from the USB Type-C. And connect it again. And do the same steps before go to your settings go to devices Bluetooth and then disconnect your DualShock 4 now once disconnected it will turn amber the color of your DualShock controller will turn amber and then you have to press escape for a few seconds hold it and then a message will pop out like that so now you're free to use your keyboard and mouse while playing the PS4 okay guys hope this video helps you with your Red Dragon Aries also, if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you have any suggestions or questions, just comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell for notification. There you have it. Hope this helps and see you again on the next video.